what's uh what stuck out to you about those young quarterbacks and even Heinrich is you know working with them is the he work through the spring? Yeah, I think they look they all look really good. I think especially compared to last spring, I think we're miles ahead of where, where we were last spring and I think uh Coach G T is doing a good job with, with them working out and all that stuff and especially like just like the little stuff like even the quarterbacks are learning like about the protections and stuff. So I think that's like taking a big jump of from last spring to this spring. I think it's going good. For you personally, what can one more year of college football do for you? I think it can do a lot, I think. Um there's so much to build off of from last year and I think that um you know, I'm just trying to work on my game, work on my weaknesses. And just like everyone else, you know, just get one better every day. Now that you're kind of a few months behind you, uh, what did you learn your first year in the Big Ten? Like, how was it different, if, if at all, from the Pac-12? You know, Coach Raiola teaches uh, O-line a lot different than everyone else. You know, I've been, i played for multiple O-line coaches, and I think Coach Raiola teaches it the right, the right way. And it was, it was a little difficult to get used to, you know, and I think, now that I'm really bought into it and really focusing on like what I need to work on. And he's doing a great job of helping me out and showing me like what I need to work on and, uh, and what I need to focus on. And I think it's doing good that I'm focusing on it now in the spring. And once fall rolls around, it'll be good to go. Part of his, well, part of his um, way that he teaches it made, that, made it difficult for you to, to transition into this. He was a center himself. And you know he really puts a lot in the center. So, uh, make the points, make the calls, and um, seeing the defense. He calls it the the sixth sense, and uh, I think it's good that like uh, we're going against our defense, and you have to see a lot to go against our defense. And they're always running games, and Coach T White's always trying to figure out ways to attack an offense. So I think it's good to focus on that. And uh, you know the technique is um, his technique is a lot different than a lot of coaches teach. So I think that's good for us to focus on and get better at. How do you see it when, when transfers come in, like Micah? Is it an adjustment? You can tell it's an adjustment for them, too, to learn this style. I mean, it's an adjustment for sure, but it's like once it clicks, like like you can tell that Micah, like he, he's buying into it, and you can see, like, when Coach uh, Raiola is teaching him a technique, it, like when it clicks, he's like, oh, that makes so much sense, and he's like, then he goes out there and dominates, you know, and it's just like you just got to get it to click, and then we're going out there balling. What about these young quarterbacks? I mean, you're, are you a six year, right? Mm -hmm. You just having high, guys that should still be in high school leading your huddle. What, what's that been like for you uh, in, in the offensive linemen who are a lot of veterans on this team? You know, I think they're, they're doing a great job preparing every practice and going in the film room. And, you know, we're not treating them like freshmen. I mean, they're in college now. Like, you have to be treated like everyone else. We're just holding everyone to a standard. And um, I think they're doing a great job. All, all three of them are out there. And uh, they're controlling the offense. And, you know, a lot of us veteran guys are trying to help out, you know, like with the procedure stuff and all that. So I think we're just going out there and doing a great job. Speaking of veteran guys helping Turner, he can't be out there right now. But how have you seen him <coughs> be this, like, player coach, uh, especially for the young guys? Oh, it's nice, you know, especially with the, the early enrollees coming in. He's always helping out. He's watching the tackles' feet and their punch and all that. And he's really keen on, like, the little details for them, which helps out a lot, like, um, instead of like waiting for like the film room sessions after practice, he can coach it right then and there so they can go in the next drill and work on that too. So I think it helps out a lot having those guys back there um, coaching the guys as, it, as it's happening. You, you and Bryce both having decisions to make after last season about whether you would you know, come back for another senior year. Um, did you guys communicate at all? I mean, did, he, did his decision uh, factor at all in, in you wanting to be, to be a part of this again? Oh, most definitely. You know, a lot of those guys, like, we would talk to each other, and it's like we were building so, so much last season, and now, like, we just have to build on it even more. It's like with all those guys coming back, I think we have a lot to work with, and I think the sky's the limit for us. Can you feel those kind of second-year guys in the program who were true freshmen last year in your room starting to push and, you know, add to that depth that you want? Yeah, I think it's great having them. Um, especially like the guys that came in the fall last year, it's their first spring ball, but they've already went through the season. So, you know, seeing them take that jump is tremendous, you know, uh, especially having uh, Sam Sledge behind me. You know, he's always working, trying to uh, 
do like center stuff and we're always working on like snaps and like our steps and stuff so it's really good what sticks out about sam you know like since you're in the same spot as him what kind of jumps out traits wise with him oh you know he's he's a he's a smart guy and he's always he's he can get ferocious you know and like you, you like that about a guy when he like flips that switch and he goes out there and puts one on their back you know like you like to see that what have you seen from somebody like justin evans who Plays low guard can go to center. Just what, what have you kind of seen from him this spring? Yeah, you know, mentally that that's hard to go from guard to center. Like it kind of screws up your mind a little bit. But it's good that he can be versatile and guard and center. And you know, he goes out there and does his thing. You know, you've seen him go in the games, and it's like having missed a beat. So having a guy like that that can go in there and play good, you know, you always love that. Anything else for Ben? All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.